sexual body count. Coming up next on Pastor Bob's Coffee Break. It is well with my soul. There's a great hymn of the faith. Great mug as well. Drinking a little bit of Joe Mama this morning. So good. One of our nine blends. And uh, you can get all of our coffee. You can get all of our mugs, our t-shirts, our posters right here. We are metalwearfamily.com. Dear Pastor Bob, I've been single all of my life. Welcome to the single club. Yes. I am 42 years old now. I finally found someone who I really love and plan to marry her. However, there is one thing that bothers me. Her body count is very high. She's been very sexually active throughout her life. I, on the other hand, have remained celibate. I have been told that it shouldn't really matter if I'm in love with her. Her past is in the past, but I can't seem to get beyond this. Do you have any advice for me? This is a difficult one, folks, and yes, it is a problem. You know, I would, I would say that it's a problem that you need to calculate. I wouldn't say don't get married because, you know, of the body count, but I would say carefully consider what you're in for. So this is going to take some healing, both for you and for her. You're going to have to go through some things because of the past. There's a reason why the Bible tells us to remain celibate until marriage. It's the reason in Matthew 5 during the, you know, the Sermon on the Mount that Jesus talks about marriage and divorce and says, you know, once you get married and if you get a divorce, your wife and, and the person who has sex with their necks is also committing adultery. Why? Well, we've been forgiven and obviously we live in a, at a period of grace, but it's because sin carries with it so many ramifications, so many. And the Bible says, be careful, your sins will find you out. They're built in. And I can tell you, honestly, that when and if you get married, that you are going to struggle with some of these things. Now, some of you that are watching me right now that have been in this situation are shaking your head. Yes, because they do matter. It does matter that you weren't celibate until marriage. And I keep trying to tell people this, it really does matter. And, uh, and it's important that you take it seriously. So when you get married to someone who didn't remain celibate, in fact, has a high body count, it is going to be a challenge in your marriage. No way around it. You say, well, God's bigger than that. Of course he is. But he also warned us about this very thing. And because there's a lot to get through when you do. I want to go to Galatians chapter 5 and verse 19. And it begins to list the, the, um, the practices of the sinful nature here. And I'm just going to read the first part of the list. Now the practices of the sinful nature are clearly evident. They are sexual immorality impurity, sensuality, total irresponsible, irresponsibility, lack of control. That's the beginning of the list. Why is it that at the beginning? Because it really does matter. It's a big deal for you. And it's something that you're going to have to work through. It's at the beginning of the list for a reason. Because it, it, um, it affects us so deeply. And people don't think about the long term. They think about the short term. You know, I, I like you a lot, so I want to have sex with you. Or, or I'm simply in lust right now with you and I need to have sex. And, you know, and people do sexuality for recreation. It was never intended for this purpose. 
We're not going to go into all that on this podcast. We have many times before. But does it matter if there's a high body count? Yes, absolutely does. And I wouldn't say don't get married. I would just say realize what you're in for. Folks, don't forget you are blessed. So go and be a blessing.